Hey guys, welcome back to Ancient Amnesia Podcast. This is Josh, and I'm back with another quick clip show. Hey, an article on Fox News was posted, written by Harry Petit, a forgotten global cataclysm that killed millions in the 6th century that is virtually unheard of. One of our reasons for posting this is that we want people to understand that cataclysms are not few and far between. We have very many local cataclysms that hit, some that do not affect civilization, some that do. Some that cause weather patterns that affect the entire globe over the course of hundreds of years, but was never looked at in terms of cataclysmic theory or the evolution of civilization. So, if you think you've had a bad year, spare a thought for the poor souls who lived through 536 AD, and as well as the millions who didn't. The terrifying year remains one of the deadliest in history and saw the planet swept by devastating famine and disease. Described by one historian as the worst year to be alive, 536 marked a period in which Earth was plunged into permanent darkness. The unrelenting shadow was cast by a mysterious fog over Europe, the Middle East, and parts of Asia. It blocked out the sun day and night for 18 months, causing snowfall in China, continental-scale crop failure, extreme drought, famine, and disease throughout most of the northern hemisphere. The apocalyptic scene wasn't lost on writers of the time, who jotted down terrifying accounts of life in the shadows. Byzantine historian Procopius wrote, For the sun gave forth its life without brightness, like the moon, during the whole year. In Ireland, where the fog triggered a deadly famine that gripped the nation for three years, it was branded the failure of bread. The fog in question was an unrelenting dust cloud coughed from a volcano in Iceland following a huge eruption. Incessant volcanic activity produced millions of tons of ash, which spread over the vast swaths of the world. A lack of sunlight meant crops stopped growing, leading to famine and a collapse of the global economy. We don't know how many died during the disaster in the years following the turmoil, but it is possible that it stretched into the tens of millions. The devastation triggered by the fog may have been given rise to the moniker the Dark Ages. Harvard professor Michael McCormick reckons that 536 AD is a prime candidate for the unfortunate accolade of the worst year in history. Last year, he told Science Magazine, the world isn't thought to have recovered until 640 AD, more than 100 years later. It was the beginning of one of the worst periods to be alive, if not the worst year. So again, cataclysms seem to affect us in many different ways. Something as simple as a massive volcano erupting at a key place on the planet would interfere with weather patterns and change the way the sunlight hits the planet Back then, just as today, we are all very tied to our food sources. If something like this were to have happened, millions could potentially die. Are we prepared for such cataclysm and catastrophe? We do not believe we are. So the more we can understand how the world acts and what periods we are in in the cosmic cycle, we can better protect ourselves from these types of cataclysms. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please go to ancientamnesia.com for more articles and podcasts. Go to our YouTube, where you can find all of our podcast material, and head over to Facebook and join the movement at Ancient Amnesia Facebook and Ancient Amnesia Discussion Group. And until then, we'll see you next time.